Hey, forward all your technical questions to PWCTV at sbtontheweb.com. This week's tech question comes from New Jersey. Larry's having problems with his carburetor. He wants to know how does a carburetor work and how can he rebuild his? Now, Under the Sea with Joe St. Louis. Brought to you by SBT. Larry, carburetor operation and rebuilding is a rather large subject, so we're going to cover that in two shows. In this show, we're going to talk about carburetor operation. Next week, we'll talk about rebuilding it. Let's take a look at this carburetor and how it operates. First, we have three fittings. We have a pulse fitting, which leads from the crankcase of the engine. We have the fuel inlet fitting, which allows fuel into the carburetor. And we have the fuel outlet fitting, which allows excess fuel back to the fuel tank. What happens is this. Piston goes up and creates a vacuum in the crankcase. That vacuum is transferred into this chamber here, which is the pulse chamber, and your pump diaphragm. That will pull the diaphragm in, which allows fuel to go past your fuel inlet fitting, past your fuel inlet check valve, into your pump chamber. When the piston goes down, it creates pressure in your pulse chamber, pushing on your diaphragm, pushing the fuel through your outlet check valve, and the fuel will go two passageways, through your carburetor, to your regulator chamber, and to your fuel outlet fitting where it goes back to the fuel tank. Now let's turn the carburetor over and look at the regulator system. Here we have an atmospheric chamber with a little atmospheric vent. We have a regulator diaphragm, and we have a regulator chamber. Fuel comes into the regulator chamber through this needle and seat. When fuel comes in, it'll push the diaphragm up and allow the needle and seat to close. When fuel leaves the regulator chamber through this hole here, which leads to the high and low speed jets, then as the fuel drops, the regulator diaphragm will drop, pushing on the control arm, pulling the needle out of the seat and allowing fuel to enter the regulator chamber again. Fuel, once it goes through this hole, we'll go to the high and low speed circuits. First, let's take a look at the low speed circuit. Fuel goes through here, through this low speed jet, and exits through this small hole right here. For the high speed circuit, again, fuel goes through this into your high speed jet, where it goes to this little gun site or bomb site, which is actually the main Venturi. As air passes through the main Venturi, it creates a low pressure, which draws the fuel through the high-speed jet into the throat of the carburetor down into the engine. Now that I've shown you the basic operation of the carburetor, tune in next week when I show you how to rebuild it. I'm Joe St. Louis.